Ahoy there, makers. So let's have a look at the new Pimeroni weather hat. So this is designed to make hooking up your new weather sensors an absolute breeze, squall or gale. Let's have a look at the weather hat in a little bit more detail. So it's got a bunch of components on the actual board. It just plugs in straight on top onto your Raspberry Pi. Uh, we have a color LCD. We have four buttons that are programmable. We have two RJ11 connectors, which are for the rain and the wind sensors. And we have a light sensor on board. And we also have a pressure, temperature and humidity sensor as well via that little BM28 chip on there as well. So let's have a look at this on the actual desk. I've got one just here. Uh, it's not running the code at the moment. That's just from a, a test run before. But this will actually plug into a Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, I've got Raspberry Pi 1, 2, 3 and 4 that works fine. Um, and it won't run on the very first version of Raspberry Pis. It does need to have that 40 pin header there. OK, so let's get back to our keynote. So let's have a look how we can uh, use this. So. We can either install this outside in a suitable weatherproof container, such as a Stevenson screen, a weatherproof junction box, or even a Tupperware box, uh, and connect it wirelessly. You can log the data or locally, or you can pipe it out to a weather service like Weather Underground, MQTT Broker, which is what I've used, or a cloud service such as Adafruit IO. Alternatively, you can use this weather pie inside and run the wires to your sensors outside, and that's what I've done in my weather. Uh, my weather station in my uh, robot lab here uh, and I'll show you some video of that in uh, shortly so I just run that from inside to outside which is where the uh, the weather sensor is mounted um, and we can also use the little hat to read off some of the sensor readings as well and we'll have a demo of that shortly so this is bundled uh, along with the weather hat for a full set of wind and re rain sensors at a Bambi discount price so grab these while you can so let's have a look what's inside the box. So I recorded this just uh, yesterday as I was sort of putting this together during a storm actually, and it's still quite windy outside as we speak. So you can see it comes in some nice uh, recycled containers there. And you can see all the goodies that are inside the box there. So let's take a look at each, what, each one of these and what they do. OK, so we have the rain gauge at the bottom right. That's a really interesting little mechanism. It has like a little seesaw inside. And as the buckets fill up, it can count one bucket full of, of water uh, to indicate that that's one unit of rain that's come down. We have the weather vane, the wind vane, and that can show you the direction that the wind is traveling in. We have the, and I've got to try and pronounce this right, the anemometer. anemometer. <laughs> I tried, uh, which is the uh, the wind speed gauge. And we have the Jubilee clips, which help us connect this to a larger pole so we can mount this to the side. And I'll show you how I didn't use that first and it went wrong and now how we've now corrected it. You also get two metal masts as well and a mounting structure as well. So I've actually got a little um, ammonometer, if I can pronounce that correctly, just here. This is one I use for my drone. And this one will just read the wind, the wind um, data just by spinning around that little... Um, fan thing in there, the little blades. Okay, let's have a look at the more detailed version of that. So the weather hat itself comes in the package. We have two 10 millimeter standoffs that helps uh, give it a bit more stability when it's plugging into the Raspberry Pi header. We have the wind vane, the anemometer, got it right, uh, wind speed gauge. We have the rain gauge. We have the short metal mast, which is made of two metal poles that sort of just screw fit together. Um, we have the mounting hardware, the Jubilee clips, We'll have a look what they are in a second. Some nuts and bolts and some wire ties as well. And then the Raspberry Pi and accessories are actually sold separately. So you'll need to bring your own Raspberry Pi to the party. Uh, but if you want to check out the extras tab uh, on the products page, there's some options as well there. And due to the majestic size of the box, you've just seen it's quite a big box. Uh, we can only uh, ship this by courier as well. Okay, so the software, the software is amazing on this. There is a really nice Python library that's been written um, and it means that we can take readings in a really, really easy way. So I've written some software myself, literally took five minutes to do this to send it up to a MQTT broker uh, and then on to Grafana. And um, very, very easy to use this. So we can read all the different sensors. We simply just do a, a weather update and we can grab the data from there. But we'll have a look at some of the code running in the examples. Um, so there's a weather station example. There's a whole bunch of other samples, uh, data, sample programs that you can see to run things like the screen uh, and to get different average readings and so on. So we've got a, a getting started tutorial. It contains a thorough walkthrough of the, the weather hats 
functionality plus beginner friendly instructions for installing the Python library and running all the examples as well. It's really, really easy to use whether you're a pro or whether you're a beginner. So if you want to grab this or have a look at the code, it's on github.com slash pymroni slash weatherhat dash python. Uh, if you just use the git clone command, you can grab that data. Okay, so this is a quick video of uh, me setting this up incorrectly. You can see there, the weather station is kind of a quite an extreme angle there. It's about, what, 15, 20 degrees off true. Um, and there's also some snow on the rain sensor there as well. So I've actually corrected that. Those Jubilee clips are those sort of uh, clips that you sort of screw in. You can just see it on the screen there. Um, and it holds one pole to the other pole. So that's really rigid now. Uh, and it means it's true perpendicular to uh, the ground. You can see that I've got my mobile phone and I'm taking a reading using the uh, the measure app, the level on the measure app. And I can see it's zero degrees, so it's true. Uh, and that means we just get better readings. OK, so let's have a, a bit of a demo of some of the code, shall we? Let me just bring up um, the terminal and then we can get over to this view here. So what I've got on here at the moment, um, I'm actually logged into this Raspberry Pi. Um, I can have a quick look and see what we've got um, of the programs. I've gone into the examples folder. I've git cloned uh, the weatherhat-python library that we looked at a second ago. Uh, and I'm now going to run, um, let's run the first program, which is going to be basic. So if I do python basic, so that's not going to display anything on this display here, but it will show us some average readings. So we can see the light level currently is saying it's uh, 2532. If I cover my finger over that, we can see now it's reduced down to 95. And then in another couple of seconds, that'll probably reduce down to near enough zero as I'm obscuring any light from entering that sensor. There we go, seven looks. And the other uh, sensor readings are coming from this uh, BM, BM, BMC, is it? Uh, 280 chip. Uh, and um, that's the humidity, the uh, temperature, as well as the air pressure. And what's really interesting with the air pressure is you can see a storm approaching as the pressure drops. So it's really, really cool. So that's the basic program. Let's have a look at some of the other examples. So let's go over to, um, let's try the lcd.py. So this is just a regular LCD on the, uh, the hat there. So we can use that however we want. We can write to it, we can draw pictures and so on. So let's uh, quit that. Let's now try another program. So let us try the buttons program. So we've got four programmable buttons. If I press that one, you can see A, B, C, and D. And you can see if I hold it down as well, there you go, it even tells you what pin they're on as well. Let's close that. And let's have a look what else we've got. We have um, an averaging one and we also have the BM, that's this BME. So let's try that one, BME, oops, dot pi. And we're just getting some, continually getting readings of the temperature, the humidity and the pressure. And it'll keep doing that. So it's not sending any of that data anywhere. It's just uh, displaying it on there. Right, now the one I think is the best program is the example is the one that's called weather. Oops, if I can type Python correctly, weather.py. And this uses all the aspects of the uh, the weather hat. So we're gonna use the screen, we're gonna use the buttons, and we're also gonna use all the sensors. So if I press this button A here, I can get it to cycle around. Now currently there isn't any connectors plugged into the rain or wind sensor. Um, so we're not getting any wind data there. We can see the light levels. So if I cover up the light sensor, can see that dip down and if I let it come up gradually you can see that change let's press that again there's the temperature now it's reading quite hot there uh, and that's probably just a bit of an incorrect reading you can compensate for that so the Raspberry Pi is generating heat and the heat is transferring across to the board that's the rain level and we can cycle back around to that screen as well so there we go We've got different graph views or number readouts of that. Uh, and that's all running from the Weather Pi app. So let's have a very quick look at Weather app and see what's going on. So I've got Thony open here and I've got the weather program. Let's have a quick look at the weather program. So what we the main, main thing that we do is we import Weather Hat. So once we have installed um, using the script that you get when you um, 
when you follow the instructions properly and you grab the code, it will install uh, the Weather Hat code, uh, Weather Hat library. And that means that we can then use that to create our own sensor uh, object. So we say sensor equals Weather Hat dot Weather Hat, and then we can do various things with it. So we've got a little while true here. So it's going to do a sensor to update. It's going to grab all the data and the interval there is 60. And um, we then get the wind direction cardinal. So we can then set what the, uh, the wind direction is. We can then print out all these different uh, readings, wait 10 seconds, and then just run it again. So it's as simple as that. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go back to see if there's any other little programs that we wanted to run. Um, so the other program that's probably worth looking at is the compensated one. So let's just run bm-compensated. Um, what it says there is it's going to offset the raw temperature by minus 7.5 degrees C. And that's because it knows that um, the, the chip can run a bit hot. So we, we're compensating for that. And also things like the raw humidity, the relative humidity, it's correcting all those things a little bit. So when we run the, the um, when we grab all the sensor settings, we can actually use the raw sensor setting, raw sensor data, or we can just work with the data that it's been provided, um, compensated. Okay, so that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you today on, uh, on this little weather hat. I'm really, really pleased with it. I've created a little uh, MQTT broker program though it will send the data from the hat to my local MQTT server. And then that sends it on to things like Influx um, DB. It will send it to Node-RED. We can do some extra things with it. And then finally onto Grafana so that I've got a really nice dashboard um, to sort of illustrate all the data. Because I've got it on my bench at the moment, you can't actually see that data working. But when I plug it back in, it just lives over there. Uh, it's be it's my now my weather sensor so thank you very much for watching this um, if you want to see more of my uh, content uh, you can catch me on youtube it's youtube.com slash kevin 28 i'm also on twitter uh, on facebook on the world wide web smilesfan.com uh, you can email me at support at kevsrobot.com and i'm also on instagram at kevin MacLear. so thanks for watching and i shall see you next time bye for now